Welcome to Lee WTV. And today we have another cooking tutorial, some home cooking with Lee. We hope you enjoy this. It's a special treat. steamed buns with bean paste. The dough for the outside is going to be made of sweet potato, potato, one minute oatmeal, flour, a little bit of sugar, a little baking soda, some dried yeast, beans. You'll also need some vegetable oil and olive oil. And a little bit of Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese as well. It's always good to have a little butter. You will need that also. You can use any kind of beans that you'd like. You can use black beans, red beans. Here we have some pinto beans. You wash them first, then you cook them in boiling water until they're soft. Once they're soft, you let them cool off. And then you're going to stir them up, put them in a frying pan with some olive oil and bake them for a while. Once you've made the bean paste, you can actually put it in the refrigerator and keep it to use for another time. You don't have to use it all at the same time. to cook fresh meals every day so if you'd like to learn how to make some of her dishes some of her recipes if you go to Lee WTV and subscribe you won't miss a single recipe so now Lee is putting the sweet potatoes and potatoes into the steamer and she will be cooking them shortly so if you want to prepare these kind of steamed buns, you need a pot like this and one of these, I'm not sure what you call this thing that you elevate the steamer on because you don't want to get all of it wet, you actually want to steam it, not boil it. So you put some water in the bottom of the pan, put the steamer in, put the top on, turn on the heat and you're ready to go. Okay, now the potatoes and sweet potatoes are nice and soft. You take them out, put them in a bowl, let them cool a little bit, not completely, and then you can mash them up and blend them together with some other ingredients. While the potatoes are still a little bit warm, use your potato masher and mash them all together. That's it. Mash them up good. The next step is to blend some flour. Two. About a cup of flour. And some oatmeal. This is quick oatmeal. One minute oatmeal. Again, about a cup. And 
just a little bit of sugar. You can sweeten it to taste. Okay, you know, I don't like too sweet. Okay, soda. And then a little bit of baking soda. Just a, again, just a little bit. And some dry active yeast, one packet. Blend that together a little. A lot of these ingredients you can, again, kind of do it to taste. We don't want to give you two specific ingredients. It's a okay. trial and error kind of thing. And oil. And some olive oil. No, vegetable. Vegetable okay. oil, sorry. Yeah. You like how much you pull, okay? And again, not too much, just a little. And... And then we have some grated Parmesan cheese. Okay. Tastes good. Just to add a little bit of flavor. Okay. Not much. And nutrition too. Sweet potato, potato, cool right. a little bit. Right. We're waiting for those to cool. We haven't blended those yet. Mm. Okay. Now he's going to add a little bit of butter to the potatoes. Maybe a tablespoon or so. And mash that together good. Do more. Keep it a hot a little bit. Okay. And blend all of your ingredients together now. Okay. Dry, you can put some water. I just look. Maybe I need a bit of water. Maybe. Yeah. You don't need a water. See? Very soft now. Blend good. A little warm water on the top. Keep it about, keep outside if we have a sun. Keep it hot, then go up very quick. Could they cool a little bit, maybe slow a little bit. Now you're going to cover it and let it sit so that it can rise for about 30 minutes or so. If it's sunny outside and you have a deck or a porch or something like that, you can keep it up there. If not, you can put it back in that pot with the warm water that you use for the potatoes. In any event, you need to keep it in a warm place. You can also take some mixed nuts, like we have here. We have walnuts, cashews, peanuts, protein. almonds. This helps give you some protein. And True. crush them up True. very finely. True. Yummy, yummy. Oh. And then put some... You can, of course, crush protein. them up any way you want. It's good to have a little bit of, uh, you know, don't 
don't grind them up too much. This way you have a little crunchiness. And blend those nuts in with the bean paste. A little bit of olive oil, just a splash is good to give it a little bit of moisture. Yeah, it's been the oil, the oil, the yummy. Okay, so if you like three more, you can put the sugar more, okay? So. Now the dough has risen and you need to put a little bit of oil in your hand so that it won't stick to the dough. And blend it a little bit more. Mm, smell good. Mm. Now Lee is going to form the buns. And put some of the bean paste inside. And then pinch it together. You can do all kinds of style. There we are. Yeah, you can do it fancy, you can do it simple. <laughs> Today I do the style. Then get some oil. Put a little bit of oil on it and you're going to, for now, at least put it back into the steamer. The oil will also help it not stick to the steamer when you're steaming it. So that's like a heaping teaspoon or, or more, I guess actually about two teaspoons. Now this is how you make the circle style. There you go. Done. You don't have inside. Uh, I just made a mantle. Now you can also just make steamed buns without any kind of filling. Lee usually does that with a any extra dough that's left over. Mm, yummy snack. Good for your snack. It's healthy. Especially if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, this person, eat, you may this kind of food eat as well. Sweet potato, tomato, oatmeal. Done. You get the water boiling again. And you're going to put it inside for about 10 minutes to steam the buns. Now this next batch is a slightly different style. Mm. Okay, the fragrant steamed buns are now done. Some are filled, some are not. We hope that you've enjoyed this little cooking lesson. If there are other things that you'd like to learn about, let us know in the comments section below. If you have any questions about the process, again, let us know in the questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy.